Where's Cody? No, just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the Diamond District, everyone. Skyrocketing costs are definitely not making it easy for small business to compete with the big boys, but that's not stopping one company. Academa Incorporated. It's a small business that manufactures baseball equipment in New Jersey. You're probably wondering why I had this bat, right? Heavy hitters like Manny Ramirez and Shane Victorino have been seen using this company's products. So how is this company, Academa Incorporated, able to play in the big leagues? Well, joining me today in the Diamond District is the CEO and the president. They're brothers, even though they don't look alike. I've already been down that story. Uh, Joe Gilligan and Lawrence Gilligan. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me in Thank the Diamond you. Thanks District. Thanks for having us. And uh, big shout out to them. Look at that. They even put my name on this bat. They're super, a major league player. Super cool. Just like a big leaguer. Yeah. Okay. So seriously, um, you know, here in in the Diamond District, I'm always talking about uh, bringing jobs here to America, keeping them here, manufacturing jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, how, do, how are you guys doing this and being so successful? You know, we just thought from the beginning was, uh, you know, we've been around since 1997, and we were doing stuff overseas. We really felt like the opportunity for us, best for us, uh, was to bring a lot of that manufacturing back home. We were tired of seeing a lot of the bigger companies send stuff overseas uh, to be manufactured. And we just thought, you know what, let's bring this back home. People mm -hmm. around the world want American manufacturing and, uh, and craftsmanship, and we thought the same thing with the baseball glove. And, and I love how it's just ooh, right there, you know, emblazoned on the glove, made in USA. Right. Love it. I mean, has that made a difference to baseball players? I know you target, you know, college, high school, you know, minor leagues, major leagues. Uh, that's made a difference for them, do you think? I think so. I mean, uh, people want to uh, buy American. Uh, this is our pastime, and there's no sense of not having a glove that's made in the United States Amen. or a bat. So we, uh, we decided that we go out there and make uh, baseball gloves. It wasn't easy. It's certainly a craft that's long gone. Uh, manufacturing since the 1950s and baseball gloves has been long since sent overseas. And about 99% of all gloves made are made overseas. They're not made in the United States. And if you look at this, Rebecca, it's, it's 32 pieces, individual pieces that go into a glove. And Phew. about three and a half hours of craftsman uh, work. So it's a pretty daunting task, and it's a very high-skilled task to, to find the right sewing people, the right craftsmen to, to, you know, to lace this together and then mold this glove. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a long, tough process. Probably the hardest thing to do in, in all the world with leather is, is make a baseball glove. And so how did you get such, you know, big players, Manny Ramirez, you know, to, to use your products, to use your bat? Yeah. Well, my background is baseball. I played professionally with the White Sox and Cardinals. So, uh, you know, we knew Manny. I knew Manny growing up, and I'm a New Jersey kid. He's a New York kid. And, you know, we had uh, that synergy, uh, you know, that relation right there. And uh, so we talked with Manny. He said, would you like to come on and endorse uh, some of this product? And I wouldn't say it's uh, the smartest thing to do for a glove company. Manny is not exactly the best left fielder in baseball. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, with, with that being said, he's, he's got such a big name. He's probably the third or fourth most recognizable guy in baseball. Yeah. And we thought it would be a good uh, connection. But, guys, you know, they, like, when I have these companies come on the show and, and they say, you know, it's too expensive, I can't compete, it's cheaper to have it made in China, uh, how are you making it well, do with, in competing? Definitely it is a lot, ex a lot more expensive in the United States. Yeah. We do uh, gloves in China also. That's how we started. Uh, but we think that if we can build and keep on building this uh, product line here in the United States and getting the word out that we are making products in the United States, people will keep on buying. So it is more expensive, yeah. but so do you have to charge more? Do you have to pass that then on to the consumer and hopefully that the product's good enough and they love the fact that it's made in the U.S. of A, that mm -hmm. they'll go for it still? Absolutely. That's what we're hoping. We charge a little bit extra. It's, it might be 10 percent more. Uh, the, the profit margins aren't going to be as big, uh, but again, we're doing it because of love of country and love of the game. So. Love that. I mean, imagine that, people, a company willing to sacrifice a little bit of the product, a little bit instead of going in their pocket for the fact that, you know, of your principle of having the love of the game and love of the country. I do want you guys to point out this bat here because it's, it's very unique. You were telling me the, the handle part of it. This is uh, called our Taction Grip Bat, and this is also made in the USA. We, uh, in our same factory in, the, in Hawthorne, we make our gloves and our bats. But this right here is Taction Grip, which is sunflower seeds uh, and shells, uh, you know, crushed up with sand. It's kind of what we call our patented slurry mixture. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, and what really does, it gives a little grit to the, to, yeah. the, to the handle. And really with batting goes on, it even feels a little nicer. It kind of takes the place of pine tar, if you will. So guys like to really like to get that, get that feel on the bat. 
I love it. Academia, folks. So uh, get your schools, you know, universities, your uh, little league teams, start buying equipment from this company. Joe and Lawrence Gilligan, thank, thank you. you very much for thank joining you, me in the Rebecca. Diamond District, you guys, and continued success. Love it. <laughs> All right. On tap on Happy Hour, folks, it's the uh, long-awaited return of Tiger.